Anyway, we will jump into our first story for the day. Now, Indian expats are facing challenges for exchanging 2,000 rupee bills in the UAE. Now, in a recent development, Indian tourists and expatriates in Dubai have encountered obstacles while attempting to exchange the 2,000 Indian currency notes. And the Indian government's decision to withdraw these bank notes from circulation has prompted money exchanges in the UAE to refuse acceptance of the 2,000 rupees bills. Now, the Central Bank of India has advised individuals to either deposit 2,000 rupees banknotes into their accounts or exchange them for different de- uh, denominations at any branch of a bank. Now this recommendation was introduced as part of the demonetization process six years ago which involved the withdrawal of 500 rupees and 1000 rupees notes. Um, however, several, several prominent exchange houses in Dubai, including those located in popular commercial areas and airports, have implemented policies declining the acceptance of 2000 bills, rupees. Uh, According to Khalij Time, some exchange houses have expressed uncertainty and are reluctant to accept large amounts of these banknotes. To navigate the situation, it is advisable for individuals to approach their respective banks in India before traveling to Dubai by converting their 2,000 bill rupees into other accepted denominations uh, beforehand they can ensure a smoother experience in the UAE. Exactly. So basically what we're taking from this is that uh, exchange houses in the UAE are reluctant to exchange these notes which are going to go out of circulation. However, if you're still in India and you're thinking of traveling anywhere uh, around the world to the UAE, US, anywhere, and you want to exchange your banknotes, best you do it in India itself before traveling out of the country. And of course, if you're exchanging your notes in Dubai and the UAE to Indian rupees, then probably you should just uh, request for not receiving the 2,000 rupee notes. Now, through this intervention, the Indian government aims to address concerns related to counterfeit currency and unaccounted wealth. So the whole process of demonetization is just to, you know, like cancel out black money yeah. and make sure like um, just it's a way to kind of uh, battle corruption. Yeah. So all of this is just a process of that. Yeah, that, that needs to be placed because the, the, the a lot of uh, like situations that occur that that can lead to fraud and yeah, you know, true. Uh, money laundering and many other cases. And a country that big with a population so large, um, I mean, you have to take these massive steps yes. to ensure, like you know, uh, yes. black money is cancelled out mm-hmm. and to make sure the circulation is just. Uh, you know, accounted for, yeah. like the wealth everyone has. Yeah. But the biggest problem with demonetization is, is that even though you want to focus and your whole uh, ball game is, you know, just to like uh, catch fraudsters mm. and to get the black money out of the flow of the system, it's still the common man that gets affected by this. Yes, yes. Um, um, like uh, there are positives and negatives to everything that you do. Yeah. That is the way of life. That's true. Yeah, um, but it's al- always good to do it prior, like uh, doing the exchange prior, uh, yeah. the, before traveling, because you never know what happens when you're traveling. Yeah, true. You know? uh, in some instances, you might be in trouble and they're like, no, sorry, sir, or the rates are higher than uh, they were back home. Yeah. So you won't have the same budget that you had in plan. You know? Yeah. So you have to alter everything in your plan Uh, which is horrible. I know, and these kind of steps just makes you like uh, consider how uh, unpredictable life can be. You know, it's like imagine someone saving up money all their lives, mm. right? Like a housewife, for example. Mm. She's been saving up 5,000, 2,000 uh, rupee notes her yeah. whole life, saving, 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 and now it's like demonetized. It is, well, that is not accounted for because it yeah. is your savings. Yeah. So I hope there's a system in place for that, mm. uh, but it's just like tricky, you know, like these kind of situations for the government to navigate. Mm. But like at the end of the day, you have to take those, these steps are necessary to take, like if you look at the wider picture. Yeah, yeah. it needs to be done, it needs to be done. So there you have it, you know exactly what to do with money exchange uh, houses in the UAE and India. But yeah, we'll move on to our next story.